The day we're taking a look at these NBA matches, which are happening on Tuesday, January 18, 2022, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. 5 plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Minnesota Timberwolves vs New York Knicks. New York is in action during the day Monday against the Charlotte Hornets. RJ Barrett scored 26 points, Julius Randle added 24, and the New York Knicks defeated the Atlanta Hawks 117-108 on Saturday in their prior game. The Knicks improved to 22-21, the first time they've been over .500 since December 2. They have won 5 of 6, but began the night in 10th place in the loaded Eastern Conference. New York is playing the second game of a back-to-back -back set here as they fell at home to Charlotte Monday night. That's going to be tough sledding for Thibodeau's team, who are 3-2 with a minus 0.2 PPG scoring differential in the second game of back-to-back -back situations this season. The Knicks have to try and be better offensively than we saw Monday afternoon, they mustered only 87 points against a Charlotte team that entered the day surrendering 114.8 points a contest. Minnesota is a dangerous offensive team with plenty of weapons to work with on that end of the floor. Carl Anthony Towns had 26 points and 11 rebounds to lead the Minnesota Timberwolves to a 119-99 home victory against the Warriors, who played without Stephen Curry. Jalen Nowell scored 17 points, and Malik Beasley added in 16, with five second-half three-pointers, on an especially productive night for the reserves for the Timberwolves, who outscored a Warriors team, wrapping up a four-game trip by a whopping 40-19 over the last 16 minutes. Our first betting pick will be Minnesota Timberwolves. For the year, the Knicks are 26th in the league in scoring offense, with 104.6 points per contest entering this game. New York is 13th in the league in rebounding, as they collect 45.3 rebounds per game, while they are 29th in the league in assists, by dishing out 21.1 dimes per contest. The Knicks are 6th in the league in scoring defense by allowing 104.6 points per contest. Julius Randle leads the team with 19.1 points, 10.1 rebounds and 5 assists per contest. Evan Fournier contributes 13.7 points a game, Obi Toppin adds 7.7 .7 points a night, and RJ Barry kicks in 16.9 points, plus 5.5 boards per contest. Derek Rose, 12 points, 4 assists, and Kemba Walker, 13.6 points, each are solid secondary options as well. Emmanuel Quickly, 10.3 points, Alec Burks, 11.9 points, Mitchell Robinson, Jericho Sims, Quentin Grimes, Taj Gibson and Cam Reddish are key reserves for coach Tom Thibodeau. New York is 25th in the league in field goal percentage, as they shoot 43.8% from the floor as a team. The Knicks are 9th in the league in threes per game, as they knock down 13.1 triples a night, while they are 8th in three-point shooting, by hitting 367% of their attempts from beyond the arc. Rose, ankle, is expected to be out until sometime in February, while Walker, knee, reddish, ankle, and Noel, knee, all missed Monday's game, and need to be monitored here. For the year, Minnesota is 11th in the league in scoring offense with 110.1 points per game. The Timberwolves stand 11th in rebounding by pulling down 45.5 boards a contest, while they are 11th in assists by handing out 24.6 dimes a contest. Minnesota has struggled on the defensive end of the floor as they are 18th in scoring defense by allowing 109.1 points per game. Carl Anthony Towns leads the team as he averages 24.6 points while grabbing 9.3 rebounds and handing out 3.6 assists a night. Malik Beasley puts up 12.3 points a night, while D'Angelo Russell contributes 18.6 points and 7.1 assists per game. Last year's first overall pick, Anthony Edwards, 22.2 .2 points, Jalen Nowell and Nas Reed, 8.8 .8 points, 4.1 rebounds, are reliable scoring options. Josh Akogi, Jake Lehman, Jaden McDaniels, Torian Prince, Jared Vanderbilt and Jordan McLaughlin are part of the rotation. The Timberwolves are 24th in the league in field goal percentage, as they hit 43.9% from the floor as a team. Minnesota is 4th by splashing 14.3 three-pointers a night, while the team is 21st in three-point shooting by hitting 34.1% from beyond the arc. Our second betting pick will be Detroit Pistons vs Golden State Warriors. Detroit is averaging 101.4 points per game. 
they scored 108 points in their last game, making 46.3% of their field goals and 36% of their three-pointers. Corey Joseph led the way for the Pistons with 21 points and 7 assists. Cade Cunningham finished with 21 points and 4 assists, while Trey Lyles added 18 points and 6 rebounds. Detroit has struggled defensively, giving up 111.3 points per game. They gave up 135 points in their last game and won't win too many games if they don't do a better job defensively. The Warriors are going through a crisis, and that's evident. It is a bit surprising, considering they have Klay Thompson back after a long time, but following a fantastic start to the season, it's perhaps normal to expect a slower period. Still, I am backing the Warriors to cover and secure a win here because they are facing one of the weakest teams in the NBA. This game will do well to Golden State, who really needs this win. Even if Curry misses the game, I am sure they have the quality to beat the Pistons, who won just one of the previous 14 games on the road. Golden State is averaging 109.9 points per game. They scored 99 points in their last game, making 39% of their field goals and 31% of their three-pointers. Jordan Poole led the way for the Warriors with 20 points, 4 rebounds, and 3 assists. Jonathan Kuminga finished with 19 points and 7 rebounds, while Klay Thompson added 13 points and 4 rebounds. Golden State has played well defensively, giving up 102 points per game. They gave up 119 points in their last game and will need to do a better job if they want to get the win. Our first betting pick will be the Warriors. The Golden State Warriors failed to reach a 100-point mark for the fifth time in seven games as they suffered a fifth defeat in seven games. This time around, they were powerless against the Minnesota Timberwolves on the road, losing 119-99. Golden State couldn't cover a plus-5 spread, which is the sixth time in eight games they failed to cover. Right now, the Warriors have a 24-17-2 a TS record. Steve Kerr's team shot only 39% from the field and 31% from beyond the arc, while the Wolves were way better in assists, 30-20. The Detroit Pistons didn't have enough strength and energy to make the second upset in two days after beating the Toronto Raptors. They experienced a catastrophe against the Phoenix Suns at home, losing 135-108, failing to cover a plus 11.5 spread in the process. It was the second time in three games the Pistons failed to cover, and they now dropped to a 20-22 ATS record. Detroit's defense was quite lenient, allowing Phoenix to shoot 58.6% from the floor, while the Suns dominated the boards, 51-32. Our second betting pick will be under the total. Disclaimer, no financial advice, the information on this channel is provided for education and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information contained in or provided from or through this channel is not intended to be and does not constitute financial advice, investment advice, trading advice or any other advice. The information on this channel and provided from or through this channel is general in nature and is not specific to you the user or anyone else. You should not make any decision, financial, investment, trading or otherwise, based on any of the information presented on this channel without undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or financial advisory.